Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that a bag contains eight balls whose colors are either white or black. Four balls are drawn at random without replacement from this eight. And it was found that when these four balls were drawn, two were white and two were black. The probability that the question is asking us that the bag contains equal number of black and white balls means the question is asking that the bag should have exactly four black and four white out of which two black and two white are taken out. We have to find the probability of this. So basically this is a question on conditional probability. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 2 over 5. The second answer choice we have is 2 over 7. The third answer choice we have been given here is 1 over 7. The last answer choice is 1 over 5. So these are the four answer choices. We need to figure out the correct answer choice that the probability that the two balls of black and two balls of white are drawn from a bag which contains equal number of black and white balls. So let's see how to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you, but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make these solutions as easy as possible. So we want to find in this question, Probability that the bag contains equal number of black and white balls. So first, let's see. I have been told that there are eight balls in total in the bag, out of which four are drawn without replacement. So for this, I know the total number of outcomes I can have is out of eight, I'm drawing any four of them. Now, there can be many cases where you have different number of black and white balls, right? So let's let's understand that. And we have been told out of those, whatever number of black and white balls you have in the bag, you are drawing out two black and two white balls. So let's solve this. So first case I can have in the bag. And since you are drawing two black and two white balls out of this four, we know that there should be at least two black and two white balls in the bag. So four balls are already there. We have to just talk about the remaining four balls. So basically, I can have the first case where you have two white balls and six black balls. Second case, I can have is three white balls and five black balls. Third case, we can have here is four white balls and four black balls. Fourth case, we can have five white and three black. And the last case, I can have is six white and two black. So we have in total five cases here. And we know from every one, you are picking two black and two white balls. So if I find the probability of each of the cases, for the first case, out of two white, you're picking both the whites. And out of six blacks, you're picking any two of them. Divided by total outcomes, we know out of eight, you're picking four of them. Second, to find the probability of second case, out of three, you're picking two whites. Out of five, you're picking two blacks. Out of eight, you're picking four of them. The third, out of four, you're picking two. Out of other four, you're picking two. Out of eight, you're picking four. Next, out of five, you're picking again two. Out of three blacks, you're putting two blacks, picking two blacks. And denominator out of total eight balls, you're picking four of them. And the last case I can have is out of six, you're picking two whites. The remaining two blacks, you're picking both of them. And out of the total eight balls, you're picking four of them. So these are all the probabilities for the five cases that we have been told. Now, when I have been asked the condition that probability to be found out when the bag will contain equal number of black and white balls means exactly four black and four white balls. So this is the case. So out of five, 
cases we have to consider only this one case so basically out of this five cases every case will have additional chance of one over five because you can consider or select any one out of the five cases so i'll multiply every probability with one fifth of chance because everyone will have equal number of chances because there are total five cases so if i have been asked to find probability that you're picking two black and two white given the condition that in the bag there are four black and four white so we know probability is always given by number of favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes so in this question it's just changing to number of favorable cases dividing by total number of cases that we have so favorable cases we know it's just one case where we have equal number of black and white balls that is four white and four black balls that's given by this probability so one fifth chance of 4c2 into 4c2 divided by 8c4 total cases means you are adding all the possibilities there so one fifth of the first one was 2c2 6c2 8c4 one fifth of 3c2 5c2 8c4 one fifth of 4c2 4c2 8c4 one fifth of 5c2 3c2 8c4 the last one one fifth of 6c2 into 2c2 divided by 8c4 so we have this probability in total now if i see from here 5 and 8c4 in the numerator or in the denominator of the numerator is present and 5 and 8c4 i can take out common from all of these terms also so basically that 5 and 8c4 directly gets cancelled when i take it common with this numerator and then you're just left with this 4c2 into 4c2 divided by 2c2 it's basically 1 into 6c2 3c2 it's 3 into 5c2 4c2 into 4c2 again as it is 5c2 into 3c2 is again 3 and 6c2 into 2c2 is again 1 so 6c2 into 2c2 so if i solve for this let's see 4c2 if i figure out 4 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial so 4 into 3 over 2 so that's basically 6. So you get the answer in the numerator as 6, dividing it by 1 into 6c2. So 6c2 means you do 6 into 5 divided by 2, which is 3 into 5, 15. So 1 into 15, so 15. The last term is also same, so 15 plus 15. Middle term, we know 4c2 into 4c2, so 6 into 6. So here also it should be 6 into 6 plus plus. Let's talk about this. This you have 5c2 into 3. So 5c2 is 5 into 4 divided by 2. So that's 10. So 10 into 3, 30. 10 into 3, 30. So here you get 30, 30. So in total, you get 36 divided by 60, 90, and 36. So 90 plus 36. That's basically 126. This is 36. Now if I try to further simplify this let's do that so 18 63 36 3 21s 3 2s 3 7s so you get 2 over 7 and if i talk about the answer choice that we have here the option is b so b becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of probability and actually using the concept of conditional probability. So we had five cases out of which we needed to evaluate for one case. So we found the probability using number of favorable cases dividing by total cases that gave me the answer as two over seven, which matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using these concepts. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. 
also if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you